you know, I ranted last week about how it took me 20 minutes to edit a PDF and PDF pen, even though I've been using PDF pen for over a decade and I know what to do. Last week we had the conversation and there were lots of things mentioned. Uh, one of the things that was mentioned was PDF expert. Uh, and so I tried it and within five minutes of launching it on my Mac for the very first time, I had not only edited that very same PDF that I needed to edit. I figured I'd use, you know, as, as close a litmus test as I could, but, and I had the edits done perfectly. I didn't, there was no jankiness like there was with, with PDF pen for me. It, I just like clicked and edited and it worked and I didn't have to reformat anything. It, it was just done. And so because that only took about 90 seconds, literally like first time using the software, I was finished in 90 seconds. Then I thought, okay, well, let's see how easy is it is to get a, you know, a signature in here. Can I build a stamp that I can use for like approved stuff that has a date and a time on it? And so within five minutes, I had done everything, editing the PDF, adding the signature into my library in PDF, PDF expert, sorry. And then, uh, and then also building this stamp. And then when I added it to my iPhone, the signature and the stamp were already there. It must sync via iCloud. It's amazing. So I have moved to PDF expert, not just on my Mac, but on all my devices and not just for editing. I've moved to it for reading PDFs too. So now I have PDF expert open PDFs instead of preview. And I've done it for a week. Like it, I, I, and I've signed contracts with it. Like I've, I've done all the things and like the amazing part to me is that I could have that PDF that I needed to edit a while back. That was kind of the, the catalyst to this conversation. I could easily have edited it on my iPhone too. And, and to me that speaks to, to, a company that really spent some time focusing on user experience because that kind of thing can be wonky on an iPhone and they made it as, as wonky free as possible. So it's, it's the folks at Riedel, R E A D D L E that, that uh, make PDF expert. So that's my new favorite. And I, and Carl wrote in this week and, and said, make sure you use that too. In fact, I think Jed, uh, where we mentioned jump desktop, I think he also said, so lots of great feedback from episode nine thirty. Two, 